Hello and welcome to our first short video. Uh, this particular one is designed to show you some evidence that changing your breathing changes your asthma symptoms. Uh, what we'll be looking at is uh, an article in the Medical Journal of Australia published a few years ago now which showed some quite amazing results including a 90% decrease in the need for relief drugs and a 49% decrease in inhaled steroids. The point of looking at this is simply to show you that, that there are things that we can do outside of taking drugs which will alter the position of our asthma. You already know this is true, but let's look at a few examples of things that do or have changed asthma provably in the past. Okay, here we are now at the Medical Journal of Australia, mja.com.au. Let's have a look at the trial was titled Buteco Breathing Techniques in Asthma, a Blinded Randomized Controlled Trial, which is a bit of a mouthful, but it is worth looking at anyway. Essentially what happened in this trial is they took a group of asthmatics and divided them into two relatively equal or at least equally statistically equal groups. One was taught Buteco Breathing Method and the other was taught the standard asthma education techniques. They measured a whole bunch of items including their peak flow, their expiratory volume, entitled CO2, resting minute volume and quality of life scores and measured it at three months. Now the, st the stats are written in here and um, we'll come back to those in a minute but the conclusion was that the Buteco breathing technique, BBT, reduced type of ventilation and the use of beta-2 agonists. Beta-2 agonists are in general considered to be the main relief medication um, there was also a reduced inhaled steroid, but the main thing we're looking at for this particular point is to see that changing your breathing can change the level of asthma and need for the drugs. Now my suggestion is to read this for yourself. Um, as any logical person who is considering changing what they're doing in relation to an illness should do. Read all the way through it. The main things I want to point out is when we come down to results. There's some graphs here. But what I want you to focus on is the medication usage down here. So in terms of medication use, well let's read through it. Three months after intervention there was a significant difference in beta 2 agonist use between the BBT group, Buteco breathing treatment group, and the control group. The BBT group had a medium reduction in daily adjusted beta 2 agonist dose of 904 micrograms and the control group had a medium reduction of 57 micrograms. So essentially what they're saying is there was a decrease of 904 micrograms which in effect is a 90% decrease in the need for beta agonists. The control group had a slight improvement, only just hardly statistical, really relevant. We can see it on the graph, the Buteco group is the one in white, went from there which is about a thousand micrograms average per person per day down to there. Um, it's a terrible little graph, however you can see that from thousand down to zero which is almost, well almost zero. Uh, effectively 57 micrograms is about half of one puff, down from 10 puffs. Now when you put that in place along with the quality of life and you see that the white group here not only decreased the medication or need for beta agonist or reliever medication by 90%, they also improved their quality of, of life significantly. So just to reiterate, here we have a published clinical trial in a prestigious journal, the Medical Journal of Australia, showing that a breathing technique allowed people to reduce their relief medication by about 90% or in fact 90% on average and also improve their quality of life scores. Um, there's debate in this, this article about how it worked but the main point for now is that they did things which caused their need for medication to drop by 90% and their overall symptoms to decrease significantly as measured by that. So that was our first published clinical trial review, the Medical Journal of Australia. And the whole point again is to reiterate that changing your breathing can change your asthma symptoms as measured in this trial or study by the use of your reliever medications. In the next 
review we'll look at a an article uh, published in Thorax, another prestigious medical journal.